Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be going over the new legends, uh, which are center Mike Webster and wide receiver Isaac Bruce. Uh, you guys know I want to get Isaac Bruce. Uh, I had him in Mutt 25 until I got suspended, so I will be getting him when he drops a lot, because he is even my chemistry too. He is speed run chemistry. Uh, so let me go over these real quick. The collection is uh, for Mike Webster, and then... The card you can pull from PAX is Isaac Bruce. So let's come over here to Legends. Mike Webster, you can get him in Long Pass or Short Pass. Not Mike Kems, but that's not really a big deal. I'd still probably might get him. I don't know. Uh, 5K coins and the card, obviously, for doing the collections. Let's go in here. You need, obviously, an Elite Badge. You need the um, 85 overall Mike Webster. There's only one up for 451K. And then you need four collectibles. You need the retired number, Hall of Fame, four-time Super Bowl champion, and 1970s and 80s All-Decade team. All right, so that is him. I doubt there's any up yet. Well, there might be. I don't know. We'll check. Oops. Here we go. And then uh, I'll show you the Isaac Bruce, whose price is way too high uh, for me to want to pay. So uh, let's go to center. And we'll just go all here. Center, buy now price. There's one up. He's going to be the most expensive. No, there is none up. Uh, so I can't really show you his stats, but we can go to the Isaac Bruce. It's a wide receiver. He's elite. And go 90 to 94. And we'll go style speed run. Oops, I did man defense. Speed run. Here we go. All right, buy now price. The cheapest one up right now is 439, which is actually pretty cheap. This was the cheapest one up, I think. Then these have been posted. 439 is still way too expensive for me to pay for one card, one wide receiver. Um, but it, it is good that he's dropping. So here soon, maybe we'll be able to. He'll be down to. I'd probably pay 200k for him max, uh, because. He's good, but he's not the greatest. He's not too tall. He doesn't have lightning speed. He's 94 speed, which is pretty good at this point in Mutt. Uh, 94 route running, 95 catching, and 96 catching traffic. If I get the chance, I'll pick him up for 200k, but if I get on and he's like 150, I'll definitely buy him. Uh, also, just wanted to point out one thing to you guys that uh, the Antonio Brown... Oh, let me flip this the right way. All right, the Antonio Brown is going up in price. I bought mine yesterday for exactly 70k. They're now up to 89. So if you wanted to pick up an Antonio Brown since he's now out of packs, I would suggest trying to buy one now before they go up even more because soon people are going to get buy him and get their lineup set with this Antonio Brown card. Uh, so just keep that in mind. You could wait and see later with, if a promo comes out. Um, if people are going to try to sell him, um, if he's one of the hot cards that'll get sold. But I don't know if I'd take that shot on it if you really want that Antonio Brown. Uh, just thought I'd point that up out. I've got another video or two coming out today, so uh, keep your eyes out for those. Uh, also, for the coin-ups, I didn't make a video for those, so I'll show you these real quick. Uh, let's see here. Collectibles. Elite. All right, so... Um, I'm going to stick with the Chicago. I'm going to go for the upset with Chicago uh, winning, mostly kind of because I got the quick sell item for Matt Forte. So if Matt Forte gains eight, 200 total yards, I think they win. So I'm just going to hold on to that. I haven't had good luck uh, with these. I got uh, the outside linebackers for the Packers. They didn't get it. And then Demarius Thomas didn't get two touchdowns, so I didn't get that. I did get the Seattle and the Denver coin ups. There's just no point for me to discard them at this point. Uh, the 5,000 coins it give me is no big deal. I'm just going to hold on to all my coin ups to a point where I really do need coins. Like maybe if like Golden Ticket Vic comes out and I pay whatever how many coins I have at that point, like 3 million, maybe I have all these left over and maybe I predicted half the games right. So uh, what is that? 18 or 17 weeks, half of, okay, I predicted n nine of them right. Um... That's a, that's a decent chunk of coins, so 
Also, maybe I get one of these right. I've also just kept the Tiny Titan collectible because whoopee, it's a thousand coins. And then also, I don't, I don't know, is it under gold? Yeah, I have these. I have a 2K discard and a 500. I got this one from a smaller quick sell pack, and I got this one from a larger quick sell pack. Uh, and 2,500 coins is not going to make or break my coin amount right now. And I just noticed that my coins are at a perfect number, like 925,750. I do need to sell these collectibles because I probably won't do anything with them, so I'm probably going to sell those. Uh, I've got plenty of gold players. Um, I th Really, I have 301 gold players. Uh, so if you think about that, at a minimum of 1k each that I think I could get for all of them, that's 300,000 for all these golds. Um, and then plus I've got some higher overall golds. I've got that T.Y. Hilton I just saw. That's probably, that's got, that's worth at least 5k, I, I would assume. I've got four Corey Legits. All right. But uh, if I just look through here, Byron Maxwell is worth more than 1k. Um, I bet Manny Ramirez is over 1k. Ed Reed is probably over 1k just because Ed Reed's a, a well-known popular player. Uh, I know I have two Brandon Browners that I can probably sell. Those were like 6 or 7k when I bought mine, so it's probably lower than that. Um, but yeah, I've got a bunch of these to sell. Who knows when I'll actually sell them because I'm lazy and I don't want to sell all these. It takes so much time to sell 300 golds. It's just It just feels like such a waste of time. I'll probably do it on Tuesday when I'm doing homework. Uh, but we'll see. Um, I sold all my elites that I pulled in that bundle. Uh, that's what got me up to 925k. I also bought one card, so I'd have that as well. And I sold the upper, uh, echelon gold cards. Um, I think I have one high gold left. Yeah, I have Phil Dawson left, which is like 8 or 9k. I'll just probably sell him for 8 or 9. I've been trying to put him up for 10, but he won't sell. So I'm probably just going to end up putting up for 9 or something like that. I'll put him up for 10 one more time and see if he sells. Uh, I don't need the coin, so that's why I'm kind of more willing to put the cards up for a higher price than... If I really didn't need the coins, okay, it's going to go up for exactly 10 k I haven't put it up for 10 9 um, but that time it did that stupid glitchy thing. Or not glitchy, but it's helpful if you want to post a card up for a ton. But if you want to post a card up for like 11900 it kind of screws you over. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace out, guys.